welcome to the Duck Pond. Today we're checking out Edzo in a world apart. As usual, I don't know anything about this game, so we're, we're gonna go and check this out. Don't know anything about it, like I said. New game. Let's go to tutorial. Main tutorial. A longer interrelated tutorial that includes all important aspects of the game. Follow Arthur's instructions and obtain more important obtain important clues and useful information to survive the merciless world of Enzo. Okay. Loading! This looks cool! This looks interesting! Ooh! Ooh, I like this already. Wait, 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 wait. Is this like... We finally left the end zone. Just look at this beautiful scenery. It's marvelous. Even though it's a bit different from what we had pictured, we were able to secure a few basic resources and are storing them in our bus. Okay, this bus reminds me of Into the Wild and it creeps me out a little bit. The Alaska bus. Okay, let's build ourselves a new home. I'm glad we prepared ourselves well for this kind of scenario, especially since our inventories in the end zone ran low. Don't forget that if you need additional information, you can look at our survival guide at any time. Okay, where's the survival guard? Okay, let's go. Open the survival guide. Okay, survival guide right here. Task. With the help of tasks, freely available shelters are instructed to go to get okay well let's start this over again with a track with the help of tasks freely available settlers are instructed to gather certain resources or remove radiation in a certain area tasks like these will only be performed by settlers who do not perform any function up to four settlers can work on one task at a time the only ex uh, expectation ex exception to this task so this is the task for removing radiation. The task to remove radiation will be carried out by any settler who is currently has nothing to do, even by those settlers who have been assigned to professions. Okay. So gather wood. Um, settlers begin gathering wood from located within the active work areas. Gathering scraps. Settlers begin by collecting scrap and, from scrap piles located in the active working area. However, they they cannot collect any scrap from large ruins. To have them to do this, they must be assigned as scrap collectors. Gatherer plants. Settlers uh, begin gathering berries, mushrooms, and herbs located in the active working area. Okay, so this is like pretty, pretty like common for like survival games. Well done. Everything you need to know should be right here. I think the time has come for us to at last build ourselves a new home here. Okay. Before we can construct buildings at all, we have to assign the profession builder to several settlers so that they can take care of construction contracts. In general, it's your responsibility to decide which tasks are important and how our settlers are supposed to be distributed to attend to them. Okay. So, professions, now what? <laughs> Settlers, I have 10. So let's get, I think, All right. five Your builders. builders will be ready as oh, three. soon as construction contracts have been issued. It's time to start focusing on our key and most basic need, water. Got it, water, okay. The first thing we ought to do is to establish a working water supply. So we'll move on to our first construction contract. Place and build a jetty by a lake in the vicinity of your town center. Understood. Okay, we're, this is my town center? Oh my god, guys, look how much stuff there's out here! It looks like a couch, but it's not. There's some water. There's some more water, too. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Okay, I gotta. I can't go far. Okay, okay, let's do this. Um, we're building things. These are my building things. Um, I gotta build a jetty. A wooden jetty um, establishes settlers to collect water. Requires okay, water. Let's do this right here. Wait. I'm confused. 
Okay, can I turn this? How do I turn that? Oh, maybe I should go over here to get to this one? I don't know. Let's do this one. See, now I, I can build it right there, so let's build it right there. there we go. Good enough. I know it's pretty far away. Okay, so now what? Do I have to, I build a jetty? It's too far away from is it, isn't it? Are they going over there? Let's watch what they do. Are you guys going to do things? We're like, duck, why'd you build it so far away? Because I wanted it there. I should have checked to see where else the other water was. Oh, man. Dude, this game goes on and on and on and on and on. Yo, that's cool. Okay. Are my people almost... Where are my people? They're going so slow. Go a little bit faster, dudes. Over here. Speeding fast... Speeding up the game. Oh, man. This is really cool. Can I... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Build that jetty. Build that jetty. Ooh, baby. Look how sexy that looks. Look how sexy that looks, guys. Are they building it? Is this what you're doing? <laughs> I think people are actually building it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. I think it's actually doing things now. Yeah, build something. Very good. The jetty was completed as yeah. planned. Now we have a place where we can collect water. There are other possibilities to gather water too, but the jetty is the simplest and most cost-effective method. Got it. We can obtain and store water from different sources, like a jetty, rain collector, or well in the cistern. The cistern should always be in close proximity to a water source, so that our water carriers don't have to walk too far. Too late! Okay. Sharing our water. Let's go back. This is where we are, right over here. We're right over here. Look at this. Assign, um, okay, we did that. We gotta do a cysteine. Okay, so we gotta go put this over here. Oh, come on, where is it? Over by the jetty. Guys, this is so cool! I'm gonna put it right there, right beside it. So people are gonna build this. People are gonna build this, I think. Yeah, 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 look at, look at, look at, people, people, people. So it's supposed to be in the area of this, right? I hope that it's okay being so far away from things. building this. It's getting build. It's getting builded. <laughs> Everything is pretty far away. Assign cellars to what profession? So water carriers. Is it almost built? Am I going down, people? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what is this? All my shelters, build additional houses or shelters. Okay, okay, food, 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 reason. housing, housing, housing. <gasps> can I do this yet? I don't think I can. Can I do shelters at all? I don't think I can do anything yet. Cabin? People want. Wait, what is this? 
No work for us. Okay, so I have to give workers. How do I give them, set them to be workers? Professions, okay, water carriers, there we go. There we go, okay, so these guys are gonna be water carriers. And then we gotta produce, we have to produce a hundred things of water. Oh, I only need three of these guys, okay. Let's only do three. I gotta produce a hundred waters. Look how cute they look with their little waddling bombs. That was so quick for a hundred. We have now installed a working water supply, and water is now transported from the jetty to our cistern. Consider hiring more water carriers if you don't have enough settlers available. You okay, more. Never have enough water in Understood. Now we should focus on food production. It's important to ensure the supply right from the start. A gatherer's cabin, a hunting lodge, or a fishing hut can directly remedy the situation. I suggest starting with a fishing hut, since we're already located near the lake. Okay, fishing, fishing hut. Let's do a fishing hut. Um, hmm. I guess we'll do it right here? So some of this needs to be on water, and some of this needs to be on land, so... Can I... No, I thought maybe I could rotate it, but I'm not sure how to rotate it. So... Right there. And then I gotta sign fishers. Let's sign two fishers. And then I gotta get some food in here. I actually really like this game. I'm really enjoying it. I think I might continue playing it because it's 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 different from the little survivor game. Like a lot of the survivor games, you you don't really there's not really a lot of like a post post apocalyptic like city builders. Right? And that's what this is. I find that a lot of them are like prehistoric or like, not prehistoric, but pre-industrial revolution, those type of things. Um, I, I'm enjoying this game. It's a totally new thing. This reminds me of Fallout. This is like Fallout, the city building game. This is cool. Look at all the mushrooms. Like, City Skylines is one of my favorite, but that's, like, current day, right? And, like, Anno, another one of my favorite, but that's Anno 1800, and that's that's quite old. Not old, but, like, it's set in the 1800s, right? Assign food per... Okay, so we got fishers. We're just building the fishing hut right now. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, guys. I'm really enjoying this. It's just a different type of city building game, right? I should have put this over here. It would have been smarter. What are these? Are these? Oh, they're deer. I thought they were chickens. Okay, so we're, we're still trying to build this. Like, why isn't it building quick enough? Build it, man! Like, it's, it's being built, right? I'm not just crazy. Oh, you know what I should do? Not assign fishers. I need them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, they're going to build it now. It's because I, I hired the, the fishers. I shouldn't have done that yet. I'm going to wait till it actually builds. Saddlers, builders, got three out of seven. Yeah, I don't have enough. So, we got to build this. Yes, yeah, so I got. I, I I went ahead a little too far, uh, where I decided to assign the fishers before I even as let them build anything. Like it's pretty far from this, but I should have did it over here. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, I should speed this up. Last, I had it sped up for a while. Are you almost done building this, guys? It wouldn't have been as bad if I actually built it over there, where it was supposed to be built, a little bit closer to the water. But I like this water better. Little duggers. Do 
Almost built. Come on, fishing hut. Where's the progress on this? Construction progress. This is it? Okay, so maybe I need to get less water carriers. Because, like, construction progress. There's no construction progress here. Really? Scraps, building area. What is this? All my workforce, everybody go to work over there. Water carriers, I don't have any fishers, builders. I need all these people to build it. I clearly need a new foreman. Okay, so now it's done. So, I think, yeah, it's fish. Okay, it's done. So now I gotta give them some fishers. So I gotta give them two fishers? Right? Two fishers. Oh, I got some food produce. Okay. We've now taken care of our basic supply via food and water. Make sure that you have enough food and water on hand at all times, especially if you want to upgrade your settlement. A population okay. that grows too fast can quickly unbalance your food and water supply, bringing major difficulties for you if you don't watch out. Lunch breaks over, everyone back to work. <laughs> Crops are another excellent way of getting food because they constantly grow as long as the soil is moist enough. Each seed has different yields and growing times. This means that it could take some time until your field is ready to be harvested. Got it. In contrast to your fish. Okay. Additional food source. Uh, cultivate a field. Okay, well, cultivated field. So let's do this cultivated field like right here. How big do I need it to be? Oh. Okay, so we just did one little one. In a sign of farmer. Where's a farmer? Just one farmer? Seeds from fields chosen? No seeds. Okay, choose seed. I guess we go cabbage? <laughs> Is that what I need to do? Oh, it's saving now. Choose a seed. I thought I just did choose a seed. Do I have to like... Choose seed. There we go. Okay. There we go. I got this. Okay. Chose a seed. Open... Open the view for environmental... There we go. This is the environmental uh, integration. Looks good. Remember that we need the widest variety of food sources to stay healthy. You should also plan ahead for drought periods that might come when it's not going to rain. Stock up on food and adapt your production to avoid bottlenecks. Oh, sure no! What happened? Later on. <laughs> At the beginning, we don't have much scrap, wood, or other resources. We could build a production building, but to obtain resources as fast as possible, it's best that we start gathering right away. Assign a gather all resources task. All the settlers who haven't been assigned any profession by you are going to accept these kinds of tasks. Okay, let's do this. Place gather wood. Okay, gather wood. Um, order settlers to gather all wood from one area. Okay, so um, let's do it right here okay grab their scrap let's do this right here and a free settler available what do i want to do more gather more wood or fishing fishing oh free wait i got a free settlers okay okay um one of those Okay, so now I just have to wait till things are produced. I literally just have to wait for things are produced. So let's uh, let's go back. 
I have to press it. I'm gonna um, not press this. There we go. Unpress that. So these guys are gathering wood and scraps. Since we now own plenty of resources, we can start to build a real production building. Then you don't have to always make efforts by hand that collecting is taking place. Production buildings are not only easier to manage, they are also distinctly more effective than simple tasks. Don't okay. Right on. The best thing for us to do now is to build a forester's lodge to automate our supply of wood and make it more effective at the same time. Okay, forester's lodge. Um, hmm. where do we build this? Right here? I feel we should build it like right in the middle, right? Right there, okay. Got a forester's lodge. And then we gotta assign the forester. Is this actually being built though? That's what I'm worried about. Whoops. Woo woo. Click and cut. Oh my god, I literally just clicked and cut it down. I thought this was being built. Build next. Is there something else being built that I just didn't even notice that I forgot about? Everything's being built. Is this built yet? <laughs> oh yeah, people are built. I'm pretty sure people are building it. Where's my people? Let my people go. Where does my people? I have builders. I've got a builder, guys. Is that what's happening? Like, what's going on right here? Is this being built? I'm gonna unforest these guys. Fisher, farmer, builder. Everybody go build this stat. Yeah, look, it's being, there's the builder thing. That's what I was looking for. Everyone's gonna build it. I think it's happening. I think it's happening, guys. Come on, Forester's Lodge. Come on, Forester's Lodge. It's built. It's being built. I just know how long it's going to take. Construction progress. Everybody's building it right now. Go quicker. <laughs> Let's fast forward this. Is it not going? Am I crazy? I don't think I'm going to kill anybody. So that, in that case, I need to get some of these down, and I need to get a fisherman. Good job. You might want to change not a fisherman. the building's working area later on to tell your workers where they should get their wood from. Ah, and for your information, if you want, you can also tell your forester's lodge that they only ought to attend to reforesting an area in order to create a lush, green forest which generations to come can use. Okay. Very good. Now we ought to take care of collecting scrap. Scrap is one of the most valuable resources because the quantities present are limited and we can recover other resources from scrap. Okay. Unlike the task we just had, the scrap yard allows larger quantities of existing scrap to be dismantled than with ruins or wrecks. Understood. Okay, scrap yard. We gotta build a scrap yard. Ooh, ooh, what a, okay, where is the, okay, let's do it right here, I guess, right in the middle. Uh, right there, right? Does that make sense? Right there. Yeah, okay, now everybody go build this, please. <gasps> There's no power grid. Oh, wait, am I supposed to build it, like, right there? Is that supposed to... People gonna build this for me now? Oh, yeah, they're building it all right. 
And then I got to assign them to scrap collectors. So far I have 15 people. I think I started out with 10? I think I started out with 10. Man, this is so cool. Military truck. Scrap pile. Power. Car rack. Who has a car rack right here? <laughs> That's not a car rack. <gasps> Military truck. Dude, this is cool. Scrap pile. Build faster! Come on! Get to it, buddy! Get to it! Quick, quick! <laughs> Build a scrapyard. Build in the scrapyard as quick as I can, guys. These guys work slow. Really, really slow. And I have it on fast forward. I don't know what's going on there. Come on! The quicker you do things, the quicker I can do things, guys. They're really slow. Like, this is gonna take them a whole season. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I can do a scrap collector. I only need one. Great. You can change the working area for the scrapyard, too. We can recycle scrap Ooh. into four additional resources. Cloth, metal, plastic, and electronics. We'll do that shortly. But for okay. now, we ought to take care of your settlers' needs for- I need houses! Our people want a place to sleep yes. and live. Cabins! Cabins fulfill- Come on. Uh, actually, I, didn't, I clicked that by an accident. Um, cabins fulfill their need for safety and privacy and increase the confidence of the inhabitants. In other words, building cabins increase their willingness to start families and reproduce, if you know what I mean. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. Okay, let's build some cabins. Um, let's build it right over here. I'm going to build cabin. Yeah, how do I... Let's build one right here. How many do I need to build? Eight. How many is this? Four? Five? Is, that, is there more? Five? Six? Seven? Eight. I think that's eight right there. Oh my god, look how cute this is. Hey, what are these guys doing? Besides cabins, you can also provide sturdy houses and shelters as housing. Come on! Sturdy houses <laughs> withstand sandstorms better and have an increased storage capacity to boot. Children living in houses gradually fill up the houses. Okay. Let's return from our excursion into housing and refocus on scrap. With the help of a recycler or refinery, scrap can be sorted into four different resources. Got it. A recycler always takes scrap apart, one resource at a time, while a refinery automatically produces all four resources. To start off, you should build a recycler and produce cloth. Good idea. Okay, recycler. Where are we going to put the recycler? I think the recycler has to be by all this stuff, right? Like, where's this? This is the scrap thing, right? So maybe I'll just put a recycler right here. Close by. So these guys are building it. And then after I have to put people on to refiner. Hey, what is this? What do I got to do here? I'm so curious. Come on, guys. Build faster. Chop, chop. Quick, quick. Quick, quick. Oh, I see. Right here. This is what we're... I haven't even realized this. This is behind my screen, guys. Let me see if I can show you guys this. I don't think I can. Um, It's going to show me what I need. So I need 16 wood. I need scrap metal. And I need construction workers. So now I built that. I need a refiner. I need a refiner. Yes. And then I have to produce cloth. Right? Is this how I... How do I do this? Or is it just like do it already? So I gave them one refiner. So I figured they're just going to make me... Yeah, they're making me cloth right now. Cloth produced. Two. 
Well, why isn't it showing up here? Hmm. Maybe it'll show up once it's done. It should. It should show up now, though. Uh, still two. Still two. See what's going on. It's only one person making- Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so they're making two at a time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my camera so you guys can see what I'm looking at. See right there? There's a thing moving right there. Moving. Um... You can instruct your recycler to produce a different resource at a time. It's important that you focus on the resources you really need, at least in the beginning. Okay. Cloth and metal look like good options if you want to equip us with protective clothing and tools. Okay, so I need- can I do metal now? Yeah. Great. Happy settlers are industrious settlers. That's why we ought to look after our people and protect them against the surroundings and dangers, like radiation. So, let's start by transforming our newly recovered cloth into protective clothing. Okay, so we're doing a tailor. Tailor shop. Tailor shop. Let's put the tailor shop right next to him. Right? Well, actually, we'll put it right here. Right across. What? Uh? Gotta move that thing eventually. Come on, tailor shop. Oh, I can't move it there either. Right there it goes. So many, there's too much scrap in the way, guys. Okay, and then I have to assign a settler, and then we make neck scarves and open the view for environmental radioactive contamination. Let's open this one next. This is the, oh, this is how much radiation we have everywhere. So does that mean there's no radiation over here so far? Like, I don't see any on the map yet. Don't see it on the map yet. Those do look like llamas. Over here, these look like llamas. Okay, we're building a tailor. We're getting all the things. I've almost got enough wood, and then my, my people are gonna start working. I like this game. I think that the tutorial is really good too. Okay, so we built the, I gotta do a tailor in the shop. So, uh, wait, do I not have enough people? I guess I only had one tailor, so I have enough, these are all my builders. I have six builders and everyone else has a job. Because it's saving. This is nice at least auto saves. Okay, so right here I need to do neck scarves. You do a neck scarf. Come on guys. Build me a neck scarf. Build me a neck scarf. This game is pretty like, there's a lot of stuff to it. I was expecting the tutorial to be a lot shorter. Environmental radiation into four levels. No radiation, low level, medium level, and high level radiation. The radiation changes constantly and is influenced by weather and contaminated rain. I see it. It's over here on this map. To protect us against that what this, this is? Kind of radiation, but it takes a while before it's produced. And yeah, the tools we brought it's right up here. From the end zone are slowly but surely running out. So now let's focus on manufacturing new tools. The tools will help us to work effectively. We'll need metal for that, so we'll prepare for production by building another recycler which will commission to recover metal from scrap. Okay, tools. Recycler built. Do I need to do another recycler? Like another somewhere else? Oh yeah, look at all that radiation, guys. You can see it. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do, where am I gonna do another recycler? Let's do it right here. Two recyclers. I'll do one right here too. And then I, oh, build a recycler. So I, I del built one. Oh, I'm, I don't need this one then. I don't need this one. Can I delete it? Oh. 
I'm just gonna leave that for now. We'll just leave that. And then assign settlers to a profession refiner. All right. Um, where's the refiner? Another one? Okay. Instruct a recycler to produce metal. We did that and a workshop. Where's the workshop? Where are you, workshop? Oh, I gotta do two refiners? Another refiner? There we go. And then I gotta get a workshop built, so I'll put it right next to it. And then I gotta assign a profession, a technician. Yeah, when do we get to the, uh, <laughs> the prison part of this? <laughs> when do we get to the prison part? Man, I need some more people. I need some more settlers. Come on. Building the workshop. It's pretty darn slow, though. My whole island looks really, really ghetto right now, but I guess that's the whole point. You almost done? Let's see this. Uh, we're still getting more metal. Oh shit. Okay, so this guy is metal. The recycler is metal. So then I should get more metal over here. And there's also recycler over there, but I'm gonna leave, I think this one's cloth. Yeah, this one's cloth. Yeah, where's, where's my union too? I need a reunion after this too. Okay, now I need a technician. So let's get less builders and a technician. Instruct a workshop to produce a metal tool. Okay, so is that how we do it? Scrap tool, metal tool, metal tool. Okay, now it's gotta produce two metal tools. Two more metal tools. Guys, you should play this. If you haven't checked out Endzone, please check it out. It's it's actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. I really like these type of games, though. Metal produced? Huh? Come on. Produce me a tool over here, bud. Bud? Hey, bud? Produce me a tool. Definitely capitalist. Who needs unions? Who needs unions in this game? Which work harder? Come on, work harder, guys. They're still there. We go one tool. They're they're starting to they're getting there. They're getting all the stuff for the tool. So I'll I'll show you guys guys. It's right behind my camera. Right there. So guys, I am using just a mouse. The keys are WASD to move around, but I'm essentially just using my mouse. Come on, we're almost there. I can't even speed it up faster. Am I also losing workers? I need, dude, oh my God, all of my numbers are gone down. Look at this, 11? They're going down, it was just at 12. My fishers are gone and my tailor's gone. Oh God, this is not good. Okay, good. They're finally making the tool. Like I said, I'll show you behind my camera. You can see that uh, things are moving. Okay, so we got one tool so far. We're getting there slowly but surely. Come on. I know you can do this, buddy. I know you can do this. Look how, like, this is so much fun. This is my scrap metal place, so they're getting all the scrap metal. Except for this. I don't, is this actually scrap metal? There's a power line. It's post-apocalyptic. It's not. <gasps> Metal tool, okay, we got it all, guys. I think we got it all. Is that the end of the tutorial? It's 
should be. Guys, you should check this game out. It's a lot of fun. It's called End Zone. It's a post-apocalyptic um, city building game. I really like city building games. It's right up my alley. Um, I've been having fun. I really like the tutorial so far, so I'm probably going to continue playing it in the future. Um, make sure you check it out, guys. It's End Zone. I forgot the rest of the game. But I'm just going to call it End Zone. So make sure you check it out, guys. It is a fun game, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my indie my indie first impression. So uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the Duck One. Bye, guys.